Hey guys, on this one we've got a electric scooter. Um, the tire's gone flat on the front, so I've took the wheel off. Um, sorry to start here, but um, I decided to do a video because I got stuck. Problem is, I've removed the tire. Obviously, I've took the wheel off as well, but um, I cannot get the valve out. The inner tube, sorry, it just seems to be stuck in this little plastic um, collar. So what I've done, I've put a bit of oil around it, as you can see me doing here, because I cannot get the tube out of the wheel. Obviously, I've took the top tire off already. So what I've did, the little collar that moves around inside, little plastic collar. So I'll put a bit of oil around it. Hopefully, that'll make it move around a bit more easier and um, free up the tube. You can see me just wiggling it around, trying to get the oil to circulate. And just show you here. And as you can see, I managed to get the inner tube um, off the rim. Um, try not to damage the valve. It's an old inner tube anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let me just show you what, um, a little close up here. This little plastic collar in here, let me just wiggle it around. That's what was um, holding the uh, valve. And I managed to get it out without um, damaging it, like I've seen in other videos. So I bought a new tire there and then an inner tube. Is the inner tube here. So I just gotta make sure I put the inner tube on the correct way, as you can see me doing here. And you can see me just struggling to put the refit the new inner tube uh, through the valve hole. Sort of fiddle about with it, can't be too rough with it or you might damage the valve. And there you can see I managed to successfully get the valve to go through the inner tube. So it's just a matter of uh, fitting the tube around the wheel like this. As you can see the power wire coming out the middle of the wheel. And what I'm going to do is use a bit of fairy liquid just to help the tire fit to the um, wheel, the rim. Just put a bit of fairy liquid around the bead of the tire. And also something else to look at is an arrow on this tire it shows the direction. There's the arrow there. That's the direction that it rotates. So the wheel has got to turn in this direction. And the thread seems to be arrowed anyway. That's This is the direction it has to rotate. I don't think it's a big deal if you put it in the other way. But it's designed this way. So, what I've got to do is now is fit this tire to the rim. Putting this one side on is fairly easy. You can, don't need any tools. Well, you shouldn't need any tools. You just you can just push the wheel straight into the tire like this. Like I said, make sure you got it the right way around the rotation. And then once that's done, it's just a matter of tucking the inner tube into the tire. I might have to speed this section up, but. Um, you can see me just tucking the inner tube all the way around into the tire, making sure there's no folds. You can see there. Let's speed that section up. And that's it, got to the last bit there, just show you here. I managed to tuck the inner tube into the tire after putting one side of the tire on. I think that's pretty much it. So now I've got to turn the wheel over and fit the put a bit more um, fairy liquid on there, but a bit more soap around the beading. 
which should assist on the tire slipping on. There you go. Now for the tricky bit. You need about three hands with this, but what I've got to do, I'm using a couple of spoons as levers. And um, I'm just trying to, like I said, you need about three hands with this bottom. Here you can see me trying to fit the bead out of the tire onto the rim. So I'm just gonna work it around like this. And like I said, it's easier with a bit of soap. Careful when you put the lever in there because you don't wanna pinch the tube and make a hole in it. And you can see there, just it got out of shot, I didn't realize. But um, I was struggling with this, but I managed to get there in the end. The tire might come off the other end as you put the one side on, which happened to me here. And there you can see, I've just managed to get the tire on there. Let's bring it back into the shot so you can see. It. There you can see. The tires on the rim. I'll show you the other side. That's on also. Just make sure the tube in the tube is not sticking out. Then all I've got to do is attach this um, extension to the valve so I can blow the tire up, inflate the tire. I'll just pump the tire up here, attach the pump to the extension, valve extension. And you can, I'm just pumping the tire up there. You see, got a bit of air in it. Just pump it up slowly. And just make sure the tire is seated correctly around the rim, make sure it looks even around here. Just make sure it's sitting on flat on the other side as well. And I'm pretty happy with that. Put a bit more air in. Now I've put the wheel back on and it's just a matter of tightening the nuts up. So here you can see me just hand tightening the screws, the nuts for the wheel. There's a slot on the wheel hub which the wheel slides into. And you can see me just putting the other side of the nut back on. There's a recess in the wheel. So here you can see on the outside, I can tighten the wheel up with a socket. Like so. But on the inside, you've got to use a spanner. You can see me using an adjustable wrench on this side. That's the adjustable wrench there because you can't put a socket on there because there's a wire sticking out. The power wires goes through the center of the wheel. So I'll just tighten this side up. Double to check the other side, make sure that's nice and tight. Now, this cover covers the um, wheel nut, and the, the power wire tucks into the recess you saw there. So it's just a matter of tucking the wire into the center, and then um, there's a couple of logs where it locates, along with four nuts. Really, you should have, I should have took the label off, but I've just punched a hole in it in the reflective label, reflective sticker. There's four holes on this side, and I've just punched holes in it instead of removing the label. The reflective sticker, same on this side, but there's only two. So you can, you can see me just tightening up the um, wheel nut cover. And just try to stick the sticker down a bit. So, now that, that's done, I'm just gonna switch the unit on. It's upside down. 
the unit's still upside down so all I've got to do is switch the unit on spin the wheel and you can see it's running there that seems okay so with that thanks for watching and please subscribe